CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam. Questions 181 through 185. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 181. Which of the following security principles ensures that only authorized individuals can access data stored on a system? The answer is A. Confidentiality. Confidentiality refers to the protection of data from unauthorized access ensuring that sensitive information is accessible only to those with the appropriate permissions. It is one of the three core principles of the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, and availability, which forms the foundation of information security. This is typically enforced through encryption, access controls, and authentication mechanisms, which help prevent unauthorized users from viewing, modifying, or stealing sensitive data. Question 182. Several users in an organization report slow file transfers and intermittent connectivity issues when accessing a shared network drive. The network administrator investigates using a packet capture tool and observes missing sequence numbers and frequent TCP retransmissions. Which of the following is the most likely cause of these symptoms? The answer is A. Packet loss. Packet loss occurs when data packets fail to reach their destination, requiring TCP retransmissions to recover lost data. This results in slow performance, interrupted file transfers, and intermittent connectivity issues, as observed in the scenario. If packets are consistently dropped, the connection may struggle to remain stable. Question 183. A network technician is troubleshooting a connection issue in an office where multiple users have reported intermittent network outages. Upon inspection, the technician notices that several Ethernet cables are frayed and some are loosely connected to wall jacks. Which of the following OSI model layers is most closely tied to these connectivity issues? The answer is D. Physical layer. The physical layer. Layer 1 of the OSI model is responsible for the actual transmission of data over network media, including cables, connectors, and hardware interfaces. Issues like frayed cables, loose connections, signal interference, and faulty network ports directly impact this layer. Question 184. Which of the following statements is true regarding the difference between an IDS and an IPS? The answer is C. An IDS detects threats while an IPS can detect and prevent them. An IDS is a passive monitoring tool that identifies and alerts on suspicious activity, but does not take direct action. In contrast, an IPS is active and can detect threats and take corrective actions, such as blocking malicious traffic or dropping packets. Question 185. Which cloud service model provides fully managed applications to users, requiring no installation, maintenance, or infrastructure management? The answer is B, SaaS. Software as a service, or SaaS for short, delivers fully managed applications over the internet, allowing users to access software without worrying about installation, updates, or underlying infrastructure. These applications are hosted in the cloud and accessed through a web browser or client application, eliminating the need for local installations and manual maintenance. SaaS providers handle security, performance, updates, and scalability, ensuring users always have access to the latest features without requiring any back-end management. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.